Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe. Completo. Chili's version of a hot dog, typically loaded with ingredients like avocado, sauerkraut, and mayonnaise. A completo is a popular Chilean street food that's essentially a loaded hot dog. It's known for its abundance of toppings and flavors. Here's how to make a traditional Chilean completo. Ingredients. Hot dog bun or mariqueta roll, a type of Chilean bread. Beef or pork sausage, similar to a frankfurter. 1 quarter to 1 half ripe avocado, mashed or sliced. 1 quarter cup sauerkraut. 1 quarter cup diced tomatoes. 1 quarter cup diced onions. 1 to 2 tablespoons mayonnaise. 1 to 2 tablespoons ketchup. Mustard, yellow or Dijon, to taste. A pinch of hot sauce, optional. Pickled green chili peppers, aji verde, to taste, optional. Instructions. Prepare the sausage. Grill or boil the sausage until it's cooked through and has a nice char. You can also slice it lengthwise and grill it for extra flavor. Prepare the toppings. Dice the tomatoes and onions, and mash or slice the avocado. You can also prepare a spicy aji verde sauce by blending pickled green chili peppers, cilantro, and mayonnaise. Assemble the completo. Split the hot dog bun or mariqueta roll and place the cooked sausage inside. Spread mayonnaise, ketchup, and mustard on the bun. Add toppings. Layer on the toppings in this order. Mashed or sliced avocado, sauerkraut, diced tomatoes, diced onions. If you like it spicy, drizzle some aji verde sauce or hot sauce on top. Enjoy. Your completo is now ready to be enjoyed. Some Chileans like to eat it with a fork and knife because it can be quite messy with all the toppings. Chilean completas are known for their bold and contrasting flavors, combining the creaminess of avocado with the tanginess of sauerkraut and the spiciness of aji verde. They are a popular street food in Chile and are also served at many fast food restaurants throughout the country. Each bite is a burst of flavors and textures, making it a satisfying and flavorful meal. Anticuchos. Grilled skewers of marinated meat, usually beef or chicken. Anticuchos are a popular and flavorful street food in Chile, as well as in other Latin American countries like Peru. These skewers feature marinated and grilled pieces of meat, often beef heart, but other meats like chicken or beef can also be used. Here's how to make traditional Chilean anticuchos. Ingredients. For the marinade, 2 pounds of beef heart or beef, cut into 1 inch cubes. 1 half cup of red wine vinegar. 1 quarter cup of vegetable oil. 3 cloves of garlic, minced. 1 teaspoon ground cumin. 1 teaspoon paprika. 1 teaspoon dried oregano. Salt and black pepper, to taste. For skewers. Wooden skewers, soaked in water for at least 30 minutes, to prevent burning. Optional sides and garnishes. Sliced boiled potatoes. Sliced boiled corn. Sliced red onions. Aji verde, a spicy green chili sauce. Lime or lemon wedges. Instructions. Prepare the marinade. In a bowl, mix together the red wine vinegar, vegetable oil, minced garlic, ground cumin, paprika, dried oregano, salt, and black pepper to create the marinade. Marinate the meat. Place the beef heart or beef cubes in a large resealable plastic bag or a shallow dish. Pour the marinade over the meat, ensuring all pieces are well coated. Seal the bag or cover the dish and refrigerate for at least two hours or overnight for better flavor. Skewer the meat. After marinating, thread the marinated meat onto the soaked wooden skewers. You can alternate the meat with pieces of red onion or other vegetables if desired. Grill the anticuchos. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. Oil the grates to prevent sticking. Grill the anticuchos for about 4 to 6 minutes per side, or until the meat is cooked to your desired level of doneness and has a nice char. Serve. Remove the anticuchos from the grill and let them rest for a few minutes. Serve the skewers with optional sides like sliced boiled potatoes, boiled corn, red onions, aji verde sauce, and lime or lemon wedges. Chilean anticuchos are known for their rich and savory flavor, and the marinade imparts a delicious tangy and spicy kick to the meat. They are a beloved street food and also make a fantastic dish for gatherings and barbecues. The sides and garnishes complement the dish, providing a balance of flavors and textures. Humitas. Steamed or boiled corn dough filled with seasoned meat or cheese. Humitas are a traditional South American dish made from masa, a dough of ground corn, that's typically seasoned with a mixture of ingredients, then wrapped in corn husks and steamed or boiled. 
They are similar to tamales but have their own unique flavor and preparation. Here's how to make humitas. Ingredients. 6 to 8 fresh corn ears, or 3 cups of corn kernels. 1 half cup vegetable oil. 1 onion, finely chopped. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 teaspoon ground cumin, salt and pepper to taste. 1 half cup grated cheese, queso fresco, mozzarella, or similar. 1 quarter cup milk, optional. Corn husks, soaked in warm water for at least 30 minutes. String or kitchen twine for tying the humitas. Instructions. Prepare the corn. If using fresh corn, husk the ears and remove the kernels. You can use a knife to scrape the kernels off the cobs. Alternatively, you can use frozen corn kernels. Grind or blend the corn kernels until you have a coarse but not too fine mixture. If it's too dry, you can add a little milk to help with the blending process. Cook the onion and garlic. In a large skillet, heat the vegetable oil over medium heat. Add the chopped onion and minced garlic. Cook until the onion becomes translucent, about 3 to 5 minutes. Season the corn mixture. Combine the ground corn with the cooked onion and garlic. Add the ground cumin, salt, and pepper to taste. Mix well. Assemble the humitas. Take a corn husk and place a spoonful of the corn mixture in the center. Flatten it slightly and add a small amount of grated cheese on top. Fold the sides of the corn husk over the filling, then fold up the bottom to create a sealed packet. Tie the top with string or kitchen twine to secure the humida. Steam the humitas. Place the tied humitas in a steamer or large pot with a steamer basket. Steam them for about 45 minutes to 1 hour or until the humitas are firm and cooked through. You can test one by opening it. It should come away easily from the husk and have a firm consistency. Serve. Let the humitas cool for a few minutes before serving. You can enjoy them warm as a snack or side dish. Humitas are loved throughout South America, and their flavors can vary slightly from region to region. They're often served with aji sauce, a spicy condiment, and make a delicious and comforting dish that's perfect for any time of day. Pela Marina. A seafood stew featuring a variety of fresh fish, shellfish, and vegetables. Pela Marina is a traditional Chilean seafood soup or stew known for its rich and flavorful broth. It's a popular dish along Chile's extensive coastline, featuring a variety of fresh seafood. Here's how to make Pela Marina. Ingredients. 1 pound mixed seafood, shrimp, mussels, clams, fish fillets, calamari, etc. 1 quarter cup vegetable oil. 1 onion, finely chopped. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 red bell pepper, finely chopped. 1 yellow bell pepper, finely chopped. 1 carrot, finely chopped. 2 ripe tomatoes, peeled, seeded, and chopped, or canned tomatoes. 1 quarter cup white wine, optional. 6 cups fish or seafood stock, homemade or store-bought. 1 half cup fresh cilantro, chopped. 1 half teaspoon paprika. Salt and pepper to taste. Lime or lemon wedges for serving. Crusty bread or baguette for serving. Instructions. Prepare the seafood. Clean and prepare the seafood as needed. For example, peel and devein shrimp, scrub mussels and clams, and cut fish fillets into bite-sized pieces. Saute the aromatics. In a large soup pot or pela, a traditional Chilean cooking vessel, heat the vegetable oil over medium heat. Add the chopped onion, minced garlic, and chopped bell peppers. Saute until the vegetables are softened and the onion is translucent. Add vegetables. Stir in the chopped carrot and tomatoes. Cook for a few more minutes until the tomatoes start to break down and release their juices. Deglaze with wine, optional. If using white wine, pour it into the pot and stir well. Allow it to simmer for a couple of minutes to cook off the alcohol. Add stock and seasonings. Pour in the fish or seafood stock and add the paprika, salt, and pepper. Bring the mixture to a simmer and cook for about 10 to 15 minutes, allowing the flavors to meld. Cook the seafood. Gently add the mixed seafood to the simmering broth. Cook until the seafood is fully cooked, which varies depending on the type of seafood used. Shrimp and calamari cook quickly, while mussels and clams take a bit longer. Finish with cilantro. Stir in the chopped fresh cilantro and simmer for an additional 2 to 3 minutes. Serve. Ladle the pala marina into individual bowls. Serve with lime or lemon wedges and crusty bread or baguette on the side. Pala marina is a delightful and hearty seafood soup that captures the essence of Chile's coastal cuisine.
Its rich broth and the combination of various seafood create a comforting and flavorful dish that's perfect for seafood lovers. Kuchen, a German-inspired dessert, similar to cake or pie, with fruit fillings like apples or berries. Kuchen is a popular dessert in Chile, and it's a type of cake that can be made with various fruit fillings. It's a delightful treat enjoyed by many Chileans and has become a beloved part of their culinary culture. Here's how to make a classic Chilean kuchen. Ingredients. For the dough, 2 cups all-purpose flour. 1 half cup granulated sugar. 1 half cup unsalted butter, cold and diced. 1 egg. 1 teaspoon baking powder. A pinch of salt. Zest of 1 lemon, optional. 1 to 2 tablespoons cold water, if needed. For the filling. 3 to 4 cups of fresh fruit. Common choices include strawberries, peaches, apples, or berries. 1 half cup granulated sugar. 1 tablespoon cornstarch. 1 teaspoon ground cinnamon. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract, optional. Instructions. Prepare the fruit. If using apples or peaches, peel and slice them thinly. If using strawberries or berries, simply wash and hull them. Make the filling. In a bowl, combine the sliced fruit with granulated sugar, cornstarch, ground cinnamon, and vanilla extract, if using. Mix well to coat the fruit evenly and set aside. Make the dough. In a separate bowl, mix the flour, granulated sugar, baking powder, salt, and lemon zest, if using. Add the cold, diced butter to the dry ingredients. Use a pastry cutter or your fingers to cut the butter into the flour mixture until it resembles coarse crumbs. Add the egg and mix until the dough starts to come together. If it's too dry, add a tablespoon or two of cold water to help it bind. Form the dough into a ball. Prepare the pan. Grease and flour a 9 by 13 inch baking dish or tart pan. Assemble the kuchen. Take about two-thirds of the dough and press it evenly into the bottom of the prepared pan to form the crust. Arrange the fruit filling on top of the crust. Create a lattice top, optional. Roll out the remaining dough and cut it into strips. Create a lattice pattern on top of the fruit. Bake. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. Place the kuchen in the preheated oven and bake for approximately 40 to 45 minutes, or until the crust is golden and the fruit is tender and bubbling. Cool and serve. Allow the kuchen to cool before slicing and serving. It can be enjoyed warm or at room temperature. Chilean kuchen is a delightful dessert that showcases the beauty of fresh fruit. It's perfect for enjoying with a cup of tea or coffee, and it's often served on special occasions or enjoyed as a sweet treat with friends and family.